Mel. And I'm Bendy. And we're from, from Paleo, Paleo Nutter. Nutter. And we're, we're here today at Nature's Harvest in Cottesloe and Firth on a cold day, Mel. But, but a beautiful spring day. Yep. And what are we going to be making? We're going to show you how to make some crackers. Uh, you can whip up from basically a um, mixer to table in less than 20 minutes for those unexpected guests. And they're great for lunch boxes as well. Yep. And don't worry if you can't eat nuts because this works with any type of seeds as well. Okay, so we've got a very, we've got a variety of seeds and nuts here. We've got a mixture, so we've got some almonds, some macadamias, some pepitas. And some sunflower seeds. Fantastic. And this recipe is so easy, you can throw this together in minutes and it's completely fail proof. You can use any nuts and seeds. And Could I is, make it? Even you can make even it, Bendy. Okay. You just need a cup measure and you can use whatever nuts and seeds as long as they come to one cup. So I'm going to chuck in some pepitas and some macadamias, the king of nuts, some almonds. Why is the macadamia a king of nuts? Um, you tell me, Bendy. Ah, it's, it's got lots and lots of goodness, but it doesn't have many phytates in. Phytates are a thing called an anti-nutrient, so it's really, really good, good in, in lots of um, really good healthy fats for you So too. do we need to activate them? You don't need to activate macadamias, no. And activating, if you don't know what activating is, some nuts need to be soaked and dried so we get the full nutrient um, density from them. But macadamias you don't, you can just chuck them in. So one cup, I like my um, crackers a little bit chunky, so I'm only going to put half of the um, crackers in here at this stage. And you can use any fingers, food mixer, food get... processor that chops nuts and things, so use what you've got. And um, many a time I just make them with seeds alone, so if you can't have nuts, like I said before, it's absolutely great without them. So I've just okay. blended them to a fine powder. And now I'm going to chuck in the rest and actually I might just add a few more. Chuck and before we go, Bendy, we need the egg. Ah, this So is this my is bit. just one cup of seeds and nuts and one egg. That is it, apart from our magic mix today, which makes these crackers the most amazing crackers I've ever had. It gives them a bit of va va boom. So we're going to put in the turmeric latte mix. I quite like it quite um, rich. So I'm going to put in... About a teaspoon? A one teaspoon. Maybe a little bit more. One teaspoon. Smells and now we're just going beautiful. to grind it a little bit coarsely. To bind it together to make a beautiful dough. So thanks, Bendy. I'm just going to move these out oh, of the way. That smells great. And as you can see, it's just formed into a really nice dough or sometimes smooth mixture. And getting a piece of parchment paper. And just going to. Pop That's the looking dough. good, Mel. Yeah, it's a bit sticky, but it's fine. Got that, no problem. And pop a piece of parchment paper on the top so it doesn't stick. And roll it out to the thickness you like. Um, sometimes I have like thin crackers, and sometimes we want like our coarse, thick, chunky crackers. And once you have got it to the thickness you desire, beautiful. Take the rolling pin. Thank you. Peel off the top layer. You can always give that a wipe and use it again. And I sometimes score it where I want the crackers to break and we pop that into a baking tray and put it on a low heat. And in true tradition, here's some we made earlier. Thanks, Bendy. You're welcome. Our beautiful finished turmeric mix latte crackers. Perfect for any time of the day and a whole lot of goodness.